Hey guys, how's it going? This is Patrick with Emerald City Traders. Uh, I just wanted to go over a trade review uh, that we took this week. I've had a lot of questions, uh, people asking me how did I find this falling knife and how did I know it was going to bounce where it did. Um, and to answer that question, the first of all, I didn't know that it was actually going to bounce there. Uh, risk to reward, uh, it was probable based on how much we were selling off. There's a lot of factors that go into it. First of all, the post yesterday was at 6.56 a.m. So we're going to go back. I posted this in the in the group, uh, Emerald City Traders, Facebook. Um, and I, I basically said I'm going to go long here. I'm looking for a bounce play. So far, it's a day trade as of now. We'll see if we can turn it into a swing trade. I didn't want a lot of people or swing traders taking this if they would be stuck in the trade, um, as that could be painful if you weren't able to use a stop loss. Um, so let's go into it here. Uh, my stop loss was 47.80. My target was 50, 52 dollars. Um, so let's take a look at it here. Going into the charts, um, and the day that I'm talking about was yesterday morning. I'll go ahead and try to highlight that. That was right in this area. Um, and so the the price that was on the screen um, on the chart that I did was 48.23 support. And so to answer the question on how I found that support, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the um, and, and kind of imagine here for a minute that this the last two days, today and yesterday's candles weren't on the screen. Um, and price was really falling. And then the day opened up here and then it just started falling off all day. And so I'm going to go to that time. First, I'm going to go into the time frame. Um, and I believe we said it was 6.53 a.m. So if I scroll forward here, this bottom candle that you see right here, try to highlight this for you guys so this this low right here I mean I, it's not that exact low that I caught it I was I wasn't expecting it to turn right here um, it did turn right here so the low is 48 42 which is still a little bit a ways from our price entry of 48 23 support um, and that's okay I mean it, it doesn't have to be you know that's pretty close with the $50 stock um, and so this was a, actually a good sign. This this last candle here, the Doji candle, was a pretty good sign. Um, and then and that was entry. Um, so I was willing to lose a little bit of money on this. I was willing to have a little bit of, of a risk down here. Um, let me go back here. Uh, so now I'm going to show you guys. You know that was my entry. I wanted you to see it on a five minute chart. And as you can see. Um, you know, it was pretty strong the rest of the day. We kind of floated up through here. When I saw this closing price action, I knew that it was okay to hold overnight. Well, I didn't, I didn't know for certain, but judging the market, what the market was doing, all the sectors that we watch, it was a pretty good hint on the, on the closing prints, what, what the next day was going to look like. And of course the next day starts the gap up in the morning. I sold half. Um, and then I wanted to hold out to see if this 52 area would hold as support. Uh, it did not hold. It broke down right here, and that's where I exited the rest of my trade. Um, you never know what's going to happen. You don't know that it's going to continue higher. Uh, and you know what? Tomorrow we might even have another gap up. Um, it's completely possible. Uh, in fact, I would say it's probable based on what the market did today. So now I'm going to show you guys how did I find that 4823 support. I've got a lot of questions on it. So we're going to go. I'm going to start out with the weekly chart. Um, and, and this is exactly how I find support and resistance. Um, some people don't like doing it this way. I do. So you can see AMD kind of sold off here uh, this past week. I actually would consider that a weekly reversal candle. This one is almost a weekly reversal candle. But this entire pattern here, I'll, I'll circle the pattern. This pattern is bullish. Yes, these there's two weekly reversal type you know, bearish candles. But the entire pattern in itself price fell down it comes back up it gets rejected right here and then the, the next week opens up and it becomes an extremely bullish week this is all consolidation I don't know what you what kind of pattern you would call that but it's con it's consolidation I would almost call it a bull flag but I know people will argue that so we'll just say it's consolidation price has never closed the week below this price it still hasn't so the risk to reward would be this if price came down underneath um, underneath this pattern if price came down below it my my stop loss would immediately be triggered 
Um, technically, on a weekly time frame, you would be looking for a weekly close. Uh, but for our purposes, that's good enough for me for support. Um, and how did I find that price? If I, I don't know if I can zoom in more anymore here. So I'll try to zoom in here more if I can. Yeah, okay, so here we go. So price, if you look at this price, 48.23, it doesn't really have to be to the penny, but the point is, is you have you have several reactions here, highs, lows, opens, closes. Some of the, sometimes there's a little bit of this chopping back and back through. Um, so that, that, that kind of area could be support. Um, but mainly I'm looking for these highs, lows, opens, closes. And that's how I got the number. That's really where that number came from. Um, it was rejected here and we broke out here. That's where the number came from. And then to confirm that number, what I did is I then went to a daily chart. Okay, and I'm looking at the daily chart. And I'm same thing, I'm gonna look for highs, lows, opens, closes, gaps. Same thing, right? Here's our number, 4823. You see there's a gap here, gap here, gap here. Price came through the gap, bounced off of it. Price came down, uh, found it as support right here. Price fell through. And you can see there's this wide range of it's support and resistance, support and resistance, support and resistance. And then it, you know, price is staying away from here these last several weeks. Um, and then finally we got really close to it right here. So I, I, I told myself, you know what? Yeah, sure. Price could fall through there and find support down here. That's that's possible. Um, you know, price could come all the way down to here. Price could come all the way down to here. There's a lot of areas that could be considered support. Um, but but we've been trading off. You know, we we're kind of falling here. Became a falling knife, especially when we got into this day. If you notice the volume, the volume continues to pick up higher and higher. I wouldn't say it's capitulation just yet, uh, but the volume does start to pick up. And so this reversal candle, I would have rather liked this reversal to have a lot more volume, um, but that's okay. The volume isn't everything. Um, it's just it's just one indication of what's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now go back to the. I'll try to look at another time frame here, and we'll do a like two hour chart. Okay. So same kind of idea, right? You see, if I zoom into a two hour chart. And honestly, with swing trading, you should you shouldn't be looking at anything less than a one-hour chart. Um, maybe on your entries or your exits, but you really don't need to be looking at anything less than a one-hour chart. Anywhere between one hours and eight hours is probably good for a swing trader, um, but to each their own. So we see price fall, consolidates makes a bear flag, falls, consolidates makes a bearish kind of pennant type pattern. And let me try to zoom in here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Each day that happens here just fall, falls over, falls, consolidates, falls again, makes a pennant, usually in the direction that it comes from, falls again. And we just continued falling off here over and over and over again. We're getting pretty extended. If you look at the RSI, we're, we've, we've been oversold. Um, and just because it's oversold doesn't mean it can't continue uh, being sold off. Um, but the closer we get, I, I don't even know what the reading is down here. It's pre, it was pretty bad that day um, and, and across all time frames. So I knew I knew a bounce was coming. I did not know the bounce would turn into what it did. And you know what? Tomorrow we might even see continuation. That's 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 completely possible. Um, so if I zoom in here again. To a five minute chart you can get a more of a closer look at what it what it is. So again, this doesn't mean that that I I mean I didn't know that it was going to bounce. And that's the thing with trading is you don't ever know how how much you're going to get. I actually was was targeting 50 52 um, or what is that? That's 51 40 somewhere in there. I was targeting these areas. Now the thing is you don't know where it's going to go. It could go to the first one, it could go to the second one, it could go to the third one. In fact, it could just keep selling off. You don't really know. But that's where trading, that's where you have to make your best judgment calls. Um, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. Good luck to you guys. I hope you guys have a solid week the rest of the week.